Next I'm going to show you the deferrals functionality that comes with NAV 2016, which allows you to automatically defer revenues and expenses over a predefined schedule. This gives you the opportunity to recognise revenues and expenses in a financial period other than the period that the transaction is posted in. And this functionality is available on general journals and some sales and purchase documents. So for this example, I'm going to create a purchase invoice for my heating and um, electricals. Um, and I will create a purchase invoice for vendor 50,000 for my GL 8120, which is my GL account for electricity and heating. And I'll put in the, the total amount of the bill with the invoice number. Now what I can have a look at on the line is the deferral schedule that I've got set up for this GL account, which is to divide, divide the amounts over a three month period. Now this will post into those three different months rather than posting everything into the single date that I've got here. So I simply click on the post button and NAV will now post against those three months with against my deferral accounts. I say yes. It'll go through and post the transactions. Now we'll be able to have a look at the history and see those three posted documents, those three posted transactions into my deferrals. If I open the posted invoice and I go to navigate, I'll see my GL account, my GL entries that I've got here. If I just take off the filter, because at the moment it's got a posting date of, to, of today's date, and I'll just show that I've got my deferral expense for August, for September and October. So it's really easy in this version to be able to defer your expenses or even your revenues into a schedule period.